All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we are over here by the river, by the Chow Praia. And I uh, was out exploring a couple weeks ago and I came across this little tiny temple that is quite cool looking. I just uh, really liked the way it looked and it was all locked up. So I was coming by today and I decided to stop and uh, it was locked up again, but we, uh, we asked one of the monk guys if uh, we could go in and take a look. So he opened it up. As you can see behind me, it has got a really cool facade. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look and uh, it's not a big temple, but it's just really interesting. So let's go uh, see what it's inside and look around the grounds. Really. So this little temple is called Wat Nok. And I'm not sure if it's like the bird temple or what they mean by Nok, but it is fantastic looking. It's just this little tiny old Ayutthaya style temple. And it's right here on the river and it's just kind of surrounded by some condos. And uh, then you have like the pier and stuff over there. The purple line is nearby, the new uh, BTS line. And uh, you can see the outside of it. It's in fantastic shape. Now this is an Ayutthaya style temple and uh, the history of it, I believe, it, there's a sign outside and I did a little translate on it. And uh, what it is, is it was some of Taxan's men, King Taxan, when he fled Ayutthaya, the, uh, his army. Some of the soldiers uh, were happy to escape the Burmese. So for thanks, they came over here and they built this temple for allowing them to uh, escape with their lives. So we're gonna look inside. So he opened it up just for us to where we can look. And it has this little Buddha. So it's got six windows and it's got the, the plain white walls and the wooden floor. So it's got the place here for the monks to sit. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice little building. Yeah, they normally open this up only on like special Buddha days, like uh, Asara Bucha or Makabucha day. But he was nice enough to open it up for us today. So you can see the Buddhas in the seated posture. And then the, uh, the roof is that, those, uh, the wood and everything. Yeah, and it's in fantastic shape. Yeah, I really like this. Oh, so here the monk, he came over and turned the lights on for us. <laughs> okay, so now that the monk has it all opened up, we can see it quite a bit better. So what's special about this Buddha here is that normally they put like a, like a frame, they build it out of metal, but this one here, before they cast it, they, uh, they made the inside out of bamboo, and then they cast the, uh, the Buddha over the top of it. Yeah, this is a great little building here. It's really, really nice. So right here by the door, this is kind of interesting, this little figure. They have it kind of roped off to keep it from falling, but it has like the, the little shiny tiles in the, uh, the plaster. And then you can see the marker stones out here. So you can see the little temple. This is the little tiny bot, the, the ordination hall. And it's just right here nestled in. I mean, there's uh, buildings all around it. And then uh, there is a little bit more of the new part over here. We'll take a look at it really quick, I guess, whenever we're done. But uh, they have the monk quarters right here and there's not a whole lot to it. It is active, so there are the monks here and then the Thais come over here and uh, they do make merit and everything at this temple. But I really, really like the looks of this front of this. It is fantastic. And you can see it has like the little porch and stuff that's like the Ayutthaya style. And then they have all the, uh, the work and stuff over the, the windows. And then it has the little porch in the back and then it has this little plaster wall and it has the low wall around the the bot also and it has this little statue yeah this is fantastic it's just kind of a hidden little uh, little hidden gym right here in the middle of uh, like a community I was just coming by it and I saw it so I uh, pulled in here and looked at it and it was closed so I came back by today yeah this is really neat and then you can see the back side of this little temple this little building and you can see they painted the uh, the front end again up there on the on the gable yeah this is nice uh, so the one 
little creature is broken off the front, but you can see it right here on the back. Yeah, this is great. So this is what Noi Nok. Now the significance of it is that the uh, soldiers under King Taxon built this temple. So whenever they were fleeing Ayutthaya with the Burmese chasing them, they fought a battle uh, over there by Hantra village in Ayutthaya and then they fled further to the south and the Burmese were pursuing them and uh, they didn't know if they were going to survive or not and so what Taxon did is uh, he told the men okay if we survive then we're going to build a, a temple here in remembrance of it and so what they did is right here on the Chow Prai River there's a bend in the river and so the uh, the Thai soldiers hid over here, they said they hid underneath the Bodai tree. And uh, the story on like the, the data plate, it's kind of a little confusing because it says that the Burmese general came and saw them sitting underneath the Bodai tree meditating and it surprised them and confused them. But it doesn't describe if there was a battle here or not. But I do know they fought a battle over here somewhere. And uh, that is kind of why they built this temple is to, uh, to say we survived the battle. You see some of the locals going over there, they're gonna, Pray. Now that it's open, everybody's going in there to, uh, to make merit. And then this is the little temple grounds. They do have a crematorium and stuff over there that's part of the new, the new construction. And it looks like over here we have uh, something going on. We got a monk sitting over there. I'm not sure if it's part of a funeral or what, because we got a lot of food and they're setting up. There's a lot of people wearing white, so it could very well be a funeral. We won't go up there. We'll just take a look at the outside and go. So the, they say this part of it over here was built in like the 1950s. So the other date back dates back to King Taxon. So around the 1768 or so. Back over here by the river, next to the crematorium, looks like the monk quarters. They're refurbishing them. Got a little temple cat over here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, guys. So that finishes up our little video over here at Wat Noi Nok. It's a small, simple little temple, very traditional, uh, built in the Ayutthaya style, you know, by King Taxon's men, you know, for uh, their success in fleeing the Burmese. You know, they owed their lives and they, uh, they came out here and they meditated under the tree and then they uh, said if they survive, they'll build this temple. And they did. It's quite a nice temple. They've kept it up over these years. They've added on to it, like the, uh, the shrine and everything over there was built, I think, in the 1950s. And, you know, this was built by King Taxon you know, after he was moving the capital from Ayutthaya to Tonbury. And uh, it's fantastic. It's hidden. Nobody really knows too much about it. I didn't know about it until I just went by it. You know, there's nothing really online about it. It's more of just the locals know it's here. And so I've enjoyed coming over here a lot and seeing this. Yeah, I'm really happy. It's one of the coolest looking little temples I've seen. Just the front of it and the artwork and everything. I really like it. So anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, this is the kind of stuff I show you. I show you stuff that not too many other people are doing. So if you like this and you want to know a little bit more, subscribe, stick around, and I'll show you some more videos later on. And share with your friends if you want. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you like it, if you want me to do something different, also tell me in a comment. And so until next time, guys, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.